right, man, I'm going to show you the best jump shots in NBA 2K24. I'm going to show you how to shoot contested effortlessly. Make sure y'all send this video to a friend who can't shoot. 80% of the community can't shoot. A lot of people's egos are way too big to take help from someone on YouTube. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous, guys. No one can shoot. I've been playing with randoms all day. And also, I barely play the game right so you too can do this even though i'm immaculate and i got uh super thumbs because i do thumb workouts but yeah watch this full video if you want to improve your percent man i shoot 75 plus from three running with randoms cussing them out so just imagine if i ran with a squad all the time it would be even higher man show you the best jump shots for all builds all different attributes all different sizes all different type of firstly what i want to show y'all you want to put your shot timing visual cue on release this is very important okay it is the best visual cue you have the longest time to adjust to whatever chaos 2k is giving you Okay, since most of y'all are casuals, you don't know how to always trigger the same type of jump shot animation, right? So to really get your cue down to where you can really see it the best, you want to pick release for all builds, all types. It will make shooting much easier for you. You get several different load up animations and all this and that, and release will make it easier for you to see your cue while you play the game and hit that. That is the single most important thing in the game, okay? It's not no preference, all this and that. Guess what? Go change that and go shoot. And then change it again and go shoot. And you let me know, does that matter or not? That whole matters, okay? You gonna, you gonna shoot insane. But look, so this jump shot right here is the best jump shot in the game besides like T-Mac. You know, these are the top two. But this is for the smaller builds, right? You gotta be 6'5 and under, and it's behind a rep. That thing started three, but if you don't have this base, I will show you other bases. This is personally what I use. I like this, it's pretty, you shoot a lot of contestants with it. I slowed it down, cause some people be crying that it's fast. So I was, let me just start it off with this slow, and hey, I like it like this. Now this jump shot right here is the baby T-Mac. If you mess up your build and didn't get the 87 midi, or 87 three point to get the best jump shot in the game, this is the jump shot you wanna go with. None of that JT Thor, I don't, I don't care. If you got a big ISO build and you can't get T-Mac, use this jump shot. It's, it's better than every other jump shot, bro. It's um, more effortlessly to hit with. If you are a spot up, if you are a popper that's under 6'10", use this jump shot, it will change the game. It's way better than JT Thor for me. Uh, you know, it's just way easier to hit with, dog. And then you, you need a lower requirement for it also. So, uh, this is the best jump shot in the game. It's the one I personally use the most when I'm on a build that's a bigger ISO build. Or just 6'5 plus in general, man. T-Mac. It's my favorite version of the T-Mac. It's a jump shot I am usually using when y'all be asking. Now, here's another jump shot. It is slower. You can make it even slower, but again, lower requirements. If you, you know, but you don't want to use the cover, lower requirements. And it's you can see the release. You know, it's easy to hit. You know, you know it's very easy to time. Not many people use it. And look, you see that flick? Like, it's easy to see the shot cue, man. Another dope jump shot. Now, this is the slowed down version of Ben Shepard. It is very, very fast. If y'all like this jump shot over, you know, certain other ones, rock with this hoe. I don't really, eh. You know, some people use it. Some people like it. I'm more about hitting the shot, especially since you can shoot contested this year. I'm more about hitting the shot than getting it off. You feel me? Now here's Prince. It's very fast. It's like, man, you know, low low requirements, different options. But I think Culver better than these bases. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I hit with it way, way easier. And again, for the uh, Levine base, like if you want even, if you want the jump shot to be slower and have it require more, you could do stuff like this, you know? Make it more stable and all that, but you know, I like it my way that, that I showed. Now here's for the smaller builds. This is a different version, a different shot release. You see this visual cue is dope, right? Curry's like the second best 
Patty Mills is the first, and then I'm gonna show y'all some other versions too. Here's another version if you want Curry slowed down and like a stronger cue, right? It's all about hitting your jump shot. For y'all that can't hit, man, slow your jump shot speed down. It'll make it easier to hit and your green window will open. I'm pretty sure, okay? Now Brunson is another top jump shot for guards. It's pretty fast and you know, it's like a lower rating, right? So if you don't really rock with Curry or you can't get Mills because you don't be on this, it's a choice for you, my boy. Now here's for if you made a guard that uh, gets lower ratings, you kind of go forward. So it's going to be harder to hit contested shots. Plus your release height, not that high. Now, if you got lower ratings, but you need a guard jump shot, it's probably your best bet. Now, uh, you can make it go over even more. And, you know, because I know some of y'all, y'all actually make small guards with low midi and three point or lower than you know the 90s and all that and you would want to go further over like this but you see it's not ideal to have a, a shot like this dog you feel me you know the version i showed you at the start for this one is way better now for y'all that also made a lower three point build this is like a baby t mac for the guards right the allen iverson i like this one if y'all don't like curry, you can use this one so you can take it over and you know you can make it go 87, right? But I I, I like it like this. But when I use this seven foot point center, y'all drop a comment below if you want this build. I be butter, bruh. You feel me? This little Eric Pashko on the base, you know, it's decent. I got nice little releases. You know, you can shoot straight over people. You already seven foot. Then you got a nice release height and a decent speed. Everything Gucci. Good base for bigs, man. Now the second one I'm gonna show you is this Isaac, okay? You can shoot over people even easier as a point center. Decent speed, a little weaker stability, but you know, your release height is better, man. These two bases as a big, you know, you should really try to get on your build. And of course the requirements will be lower if you use different releases. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters, on rookie thank me thank me later that method seems to be easier than the street ball method met the street ball method still seems pretty easy but my career 12 minute rookie that seemed crazy easy a lot of people don't know about that bro okay and you could just shoot over people a lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings i even shoot over them in street ball a lot of y'all don't know that here man i want to show y'all this right here guys okay this is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI magician, bro. Are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore, you wanna max this hole out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh, shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like, when you play with, without this, and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot, Max. They're gonna go play, and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole maxed. 
maybe it might not do nothing this year. But I, I, I don't know in particular what. But I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this, the, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I can get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall, like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way, this is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day, all these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But, you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up. But yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes so it's kind of hard you know you know but it's still easy right you just got to get used to it you know you got to have your prediction skills up you can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies take off trigger effect something should not be vibrating in your hand you're a grown man you feel me take off trigger effect on your playstation and on the game you can keep on vibration it's cool but take off trigger effect throws you off it's ridiculous when i be playing wreck all i hear old heads young heads you know just turn off your jump shot meter i don't care if you don't know your jump shot figure it out you get a 20 percent plus boost without the meter tell all your friends share this video to them i know they're scamming us but if you want to be able to shoot <laughs> jump shot boost will help you if you want to be able to shoot also even better gatorade okay um you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it make sure you always do your weekly workouts they took gym rat out the game if you do your weekly workouts on a certain level you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do correct very important your gatorade is going to help you shoot you, you see how they everything in the game is designed for you to be in a vc deficit we are basically paying to play the game <laughs> y'all ain't never thought about that huh? now one more thing in every 2k people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay you could turn off your shot feedback you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. 
But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.